cramming for AP tests students have already taken. It's what hundreds of high school students are doing right now. New at 530, 10 News reporter Jessica Chen is in Scripps Ranch, where the district says they'll be fighting to change that until the end. In just a matter of days, hundreds of students will be here at the middle school where they will retake their AP test nearly two months since they took it the first time. Commission. It's not the kind of summer Angelo Carrasco imagined. Obviously having to put in copious amounts of studying because my brain is nowhere near in the shape it used to be. Restudying for four AP tests he already took. Well, it's stressful because I'm trying to think whether I can get the same type of scores I would have gotten when I did the test in May. But he has no choice. The college board throwing out his scores and hundreds of other Scripps Ranch High School students saying their scores are invalid because the students were sitting too close. Almost as if they're trying to give us a disadvantage. The San Diego Unified School District filed for a temporary restraining order to prevent the testing from moving forward. That hearing takes place on Friday. If the judge denies the TRO, testing could take place Monday. A spokesperson for the district says pursuing legal action is to, quote, support the students. It's unclear how much it'll cost the district. Angelo says he supports it. 100%. The legal pursuit is, is for principal. And I Angelo says his first AP test is on Monday. He says it's unlikely the board will release his old scores, so he's still studying. It's the least he can do in a situation he says he can't control. Definitely some unnecessary frustrations and uh, anxiety due to College Board's decision. At Scripps Ranch, Jessica Chen, 10 News.